For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and we have a product empties today. I know I've mentioned this in a couple of my product empties videos lately, but I'm in this stage where I'm really, really, really trying to use up everything that I have before I buy new things. Because I get FabFitFun and Causebox, I feel like I'm constantly kind of getting more products, and I really want to just commit to using what I have. So I'm really excited to see that I have an entire bag of things that I could do this product empties video for November for you. So we'll knock out some of the boring stuff first. One of those is contact solution. This BioTrue is one that I really stand by. I went through a phase with my contacts where my eyes were just drying out so quickly. My eye doctor was like, I know, like, do you buy off-brand contact solution? I was like, yeah, of course, it's the cheapest. And he was like, okay, well, with your silicone lenses, you really kind of have to buy the real stuff. And so these are specifically made for like the silicone lenses that I have. BioTrue has been really good. You can get these in really good sets from Costco. So I typically try to get them in bulk. So anyway, finally ran out of one of these. Pro Enamel Sensodyne. I actually have two of these in here. This is my kind of deluxe travel size. I cannot recommend this enough. I feel like those teeny tiny little tubes of toothpaste run out so quickly. And these are a little bit more expensive, obviously, because there's more product, but these last for so long. Okay, now the reason I use Pro Enamel and why I've committed to this in both the travel size and full size is that I've been experiencing some sensitivities on like kind of the sides of my mouth. Just in like one particular area, we can't really figure out why my gums are really sensitive right there. And so my dentist recommended switching to something like this, whether it be Pro Enamel or another brand that's meant for that. And I've noticed a really huge difference. I also always buy mine in the gentle whitening variety because I like the flavor. They make this other one in like Arctic Blast or something and it seriously burns my mouth. I cannot use it. So gentle whitening is the one that I go for. Next up, we're moving into things that are a little less boring. And this, I think, is probably my favorite lotion from the drugstore. This is the Aveeno Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion. It calms and relaxes with lavender, chamomile, and lang lang, and it moisturizes for 24 hours. Typically, I'm always skeptical about claims like that. They're gonna last for 24 hours, but this one seriously does such a good job of locking in moisture. In the winter time, I have to get out of the shower and immediately apply lotion everywhere. I get extremely dry skin in the winter, and it's not just my body my face changes as well so like I completely use different cleansers and different moisturizers and everything during the winter now this one was a really good standby but I got a couple of lotions in FabFitFun and so now I've just completely committed to trying to use those up kind of like I mentioned at the beginning of the video but if you're looking for something from the drugstore around Christmas time they have these in gift sets you can get like a full size of this lavender lotion with like a travel size lotion and a body wash or something for like 10 bucks from the grocery store Beyond on the lookout for that if maybe you have super dry skin and just haven't found something that's working for you. I really love this. I think this is my second humongo bottle of this to go through. It does take a while. Like I think I had this since last winter and I just ran out. So know that this will last you a really long time. Next up is this dry shampoo, which I feel a little bit bad about. This is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. <sighs> When I first tried this, I really hated the smell of it and I made that very clear in my videos. I was just like, it works really well. I just hate the way that it smells. And dry shampoo is also supposed to be refreshing and make you smell good because it's kind of soaking up oils. When I gave it a second chance because I had to work through like a living proof dry shampoo, which I love, and then an Orbe dry shampoo, which is wonderful but so pricey. And then I went back to this. It really was not as bad as I had remembered it being. So I don't know if time changed the smell or what, but my only gripe with this is that it does leave that kind of white cast in your hair and going straight from that Orbe dry shampoo that's virtually clear to this that was really noticeable but this really is a good one from the drugstore I really do enjoy using it and if I'm ever like in a pinch or something I would definitely reach for this in the drugstore Batiste is another really good one but this not your mother's if I remember correctly is cheaper and a lot bigger I'm really sad that this is empty because since I'm in this no buy season where I'm just trying not to buy any of this kind of stuff I can't repurchase this for a little while until I work through some other things but this is the Briogeo Rosarco milk reparative leave-in conditioning spray I think I mention this in any possible video that I can because I really love it. Briogeo is just a cleaner brand of products. It has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. It smells wonderful. Their products are extremely effective, but fortunately I have another good lineup of products in there that I've really been enjoying. So I still stand by this. I still love this, especially if maybe you have finer hair. I'm finding that I have some other products in my closet right now that are a bit more conditioning, but this does a really good job of heat 
protecting and conditioning. I just think that fine haired people who are really afraid of creams or something would really, really like this. If you have a hard time with like leaving conditioners or something weighing down your hair, this is a really, really good alternative. It's just lighter. More dry shampoo. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, and this is even in their new packaging. If you remember back, if you've seen some other videos, I complained a little bit about like the spray nozzle on the Amika products. I really love their formula. I really like this dry shampoo. I really like their dry conditioner. I just really, really hate the spray nozzle, which can really affect how a product performs because if it's not spraying out evenly or it's just like concentrated, like you can't control the spray, that can cause issues. And that's kind of my issue with the Amika stuff. And I've tried it in their full size. I've tried it in their travel size and they just haven't really addressed that problem. So apparently a lot of people don't think it's an issue. So I still use this, especially if it comes comes in different value kits or something and I do think that it's good and smells really really good. That packaging annoys me and there's so many other good dry shampoos on the market that I probably shouldn't buy an expensive one with a nozzle that I hate. <sighs> Next up is a product I'm actually pretty happy to see in the product empties. Not because it's bad, but because it took me forever to get through. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. This stuff is good, especially if you have sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin or you struggle with rosacea or bumps or if certain fragrances kind of like mess with your skin, this is a really awesome moisturizer that you should probably try out. But I mentioned previously that my skin gets really dry in the winter time. And this is marketed as intense hydration, but I don't think that I fully agree. I was using this more of a daytime moisturizer when I want something a little bit lighter to be layered under my makeup because I don't think that it intensely hydrates. I just really need my nighttime moisturizers to be doing a little bit more at night. And so this ended up being a fine moisturizer during the day. It's just something that I probably wouldn't repeat purchase, especially in this size. And I'm also not the biggest fan of jar packaging for moisturizers. I could see when I opened it up that it would have like little dust things in it from where I had opened it. It's just not the most sanitary, I feel like. And because this is such a big jar, you're just constantly opening it and closing it a million times. So I just prefer like squeeze bottles or something for my moisturizer. This, on the other hand, is one that I do recommend as a nighttime moisturizer. This happens to be a trial version, but I couldn't go without mentioning my Origins High Potent Nitamins. This is a super thick emollient cream that goes on your face at night and you wake up visibly looking like plump and healthy and brightened. But if you watch my recent Paula's Choice video where I kind of broke down every product that I've tried from that brand, you'll notice that I found another moisturizer that I think does a pretty good job of mimicking this and it's about half the price. I do anytime I can get a value kit that comes with something like this. I love to travel with it. I think it does such a good job of hydrating the skin and this is a really, really Really good nighttime moisturizer that I would never dream about using during the day. I think that truly it's just a little bit too thick, a little bit too moisturizing to lay your makeup over. And so that's how I know it's a really good night cream. Next up is the Kula Sport Classic Face Sunscreen. It's in the white tea scent. I think this was my second bottle of this to go through and I got it from FabFitFun add-ons. And so it was really discounted and cheap. This stuff is so good, especially in the summertime. This was the best way to get Brian to wear sunscreen on his face because it's so thin and it goes on just like a moisturizer. It sinks into your skin without feeling greasy. And so this is another product that's really good to layer under makeup. And while this is non greasy, I wouldn't say that it also is completely mattifying. I still think that it leaves a little bit of a dewy look on your face. Not greasy, just a little bit dewy. Harkening back to that Paula's Choice video again, I've recently started using an SPF that is a bit more mattifying that I feel like can act almost as a makeup primer and an SPF in one. So if that sounds more appealing to you, go watch that video. This is for those of you who prefer like a dewier look on your skin and you can still get that really high SPF coverage. Sticking with moisturizers, this is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream, the Super Lotus Night Recovery Cream. It has a lot of names. And Fresh Products and I, we just get along. We really love each other. I think that this stuff reacts so, so well on my skin. And for whatever reason, I've just never bought full-size Fresh Products. They always end up coming in random samples. So I've tried a ton of their stuff and just never bought the full size thing. And I really should give it a chance because these react so well with my skin. Their rose formulas, their soy face wash, their black tea moisturizer, this Lotus Youth Preserve moisturizer, they've all been wonderful. This again is another one that is super thick that I would only apply at nighttime and not use during the daytime. It again is a really 
True Blue Night Cream. If you're looking for something with intense hydration and maybe you've noticed that your skin reacts really, really well with fresh products, definitely try this one out. Ow. Schmidt's deodorant. I feel like I always have one of these in a product empties. This one specifically is in the bergamot and lime. And this was actually the first scent that I ever tried from them. And I really, really liked it when I first tried it. But I've found that over time, the lavender and sage just ends up smelling a lot better on me throughout the day. Everybody's body chemistry reacts differently to different scents, to different formulas. And so for me, the best natural deodorant option is Schmitz in the lavender and sage. But I did use this completely up because I don't want to be wasteful. It's still a really good product. But again, it's all personal preference. Okay, we've got some eye products here. The first one is the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home Mascara. This stuff was really good when I was using it. And then things got really strange. Like at one point, I pulled out this brush and it was just like coated in product. Like it had melted and solidified on the brush. And so I was like, oh, I need to throw that away. A couple weeks later, I opened it up again to do a product empties and I was like, wait, it looks normal again but I didn't trust the product, so I didn't go back to use it. Now, the thing about this mascara is it is really good. The brush is super duper full, and it did a really good job of separating and lengthening your lashes, but I felt like I had to apply like three or four coats in order for them to look full. Like it was just like it was separating and lengthening, which is great, but I wanted some volume. Like I wanted it to look darkened and I wanted it to look like I had a lot of eyelashes. So that was my only qualm with this, but it was really good. The formula starts out extremely wet and over time I think it improves, but that is to be said for a lot of mascaras, so I wouldn't knock this product for that at all. This was also sent to me through Influencer, so they just sent out a box for me to try this mascara. I wrote a review on it, I really do like it, but for me, because I have this other super trusty mascara, I can't stomach paying 20 some odd dollars for a mascara when this like $8.99, $7.99 sometimes mascara is so good. This is the Voluminous L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Again, starts out kind of wet and then over time dries out. And by over time, I mean this actually very quickly dries out, which is my big qualm with this mascara. You can use this for like a solid two to three months and then you've gotta get rid of it. Like it just doesn't last past that. The brush on this doesn't look half as full as that Kat Von D one, but it's the shape of it. You can see that it's kind of wide at the top, it goes skinny in the middle, and then it gets a little wider at the end. And I think that it just does a really good job of lengthening, lifting, thickening, and I don't know, just making your lashes look so full and fluttery and and it stays all day. Like I am somebody that does not curl my eyelashes, fun fact. I really hate doing anything near my eyes. Like I hate when other people do my makeup, whatever, it's an issue. It took me like years to use contacts, but because I don't ever curl my lashes, I want one all-in-one product that's going to do that for me. And this is really, really good. I know I've spoken about this a million times, but my thoughts have not changed, it's wonderful. One more comment I wanna make about this is that the brush is a little bit uncomfortable on your eyelashes. I remember thinking several times like, Ow. Ow. It was just like the bristles were too sharp or something, or maybe like just too stiff. I really didn't enjoy the process of putting this on, but I liked the results that it gave me. I just think that the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is better on all fronts. Last of the products that I absolutely loved in this month's product empties is the Now Essential Oil in 100% Pure Lavender. When I first got my essential oil diffuser, I bought a little kit that came with several different starter oils, and then from there I bought like the full size products. And lavender is one that I go through super quickly. My favorite thing to diffuse is lavender and eucalyptus mixed together. I think I typically do like four drops of lavender, four drops of eucalyptus, and it's perfect. It's a very relaxing kind of spa-like smell. I, after that, looked up a bunch of different essential oil recipes to make different scents, and lavender is used so heavily for a lot of different wonderful mixes. I just think that it diffuses really nicely. Unlike a lot of citrus scents, I find that I don't really love the way that a lot of citrus smells are diffused. I bought like a full-size grapefruit thinking that was just gonna be wonderful, and it actually smells kind of kind of strange when you diffuse it. So lavender is just a really good standby. And these now essential oils are awesome. They're all 100% oils and I can find them at some of my local grocery stores. And I think that these can be ordered online too, just in case you were in the market, but I love lavender. Okay, the last three are finally products that just didn't do it for me. And one of these happens to be the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set. This is marketed as a volumizing brow mascara. What? I don't know about volume in your brows. Like, I don't know if that's ever what I'm after. I just kind of want to fill in the sparse areas and call it a day. This 
has the strangest brush. I hated how long this was. It's just very unrealistic that this is going to fit everybody's eyebrow shape. I feel like it's so unevenly applied product. It was kind of gloopy in my brows and I would have to get a separate spoolie to kind of brush it out. And it's just too long. Like I really should have just taken scissors to it and cut it to about half the size in order to get it concentrated in the areas that I actually want it. If you have a lot thicker eyebrows than me, maybe that you would really like this. I know that Emily Noel does like this and I bought this on her recommendation, but she does have a lot fuller brows than I do. And so for me, this just didn't work. So if you have kind of thinner brows and you like me are not trying to make them look overly manicured, then this one probably isn't for you. It's for people who want that really bold, thick look because it applies the product so heavily. This is the right shade for me though. And this was in the shade Dark Brunette. Ugh. I really didn't like this moisturizer. And I'm sad about it because I really want to like Juice Beauty products and they just, I haven't found one that I like. This is the Green Apple Brightening Emulsion and I was using this just as like a daytime moisturizer because it says, Refine, balance moisture, and soothe skin with this fast absorbing, lightweight moisturizing lotion. This to me, every time I put it on, felt like I had a mask on my face. I do not know how else to describe it. It just felt like this film sitting on my face that would make my face sweat. I don't think that it rubbed in really nicely. I don't think that it felt good on the skin. I don't think that it added a whole lot of moisture. It just felt like a really watery product. This little trial size doesn't have the ingredients on it, but I want to say the thing about Juice Beauty is that they actually actually don't use a lot of water in their products, which is why it was just so confusing to me why this just felt like it wasn't doing anything. So I, I just really did not like this moisturizer. I didn't even finish it because it felt so icky on my skin. And this, oof, this was strange. This comes from the Inky List and this was, again was another product that was sent to me with a set from influencers, but I liked the other two products a lot. They rival the prices of The Ordinary and they're kind of a direct competitor, I think, because they're so simplistic. They're like, this is vitamin C, this is caffeine. They're just very straightforward about what their products are, kind of no frills, keep it low price. I prefer my vitamin C like in a vitamin C serum. Those serums do a really good job of brightening. It just feels like it's working a little bit more intensely. This is the strangest thing because this feels like a pore filling primer. It is very bizarre. It's just a white cream and it goes on your face and it has that really silicone-y feel. I, I would say if you're looking for a primer that I guess maybe claims that it has vitamin C in it, cool. That's a very specific product to want. I just did not like the way that this sat on my face. I don't like pore filling primers as it is. So I definitely don't want another product that feels that way that's maybe not like acting in the same way. So for me, this one was a mess. And that is it. We've made it through all of the empty products for the month of November. If anything looked good to you, I'll have it linked all in the description box below. And if you like this video, then like it. I have a bunch of product empties on my channel, so I'll link that playlist down below as well. So stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.